What up, what up, what up? Welcome to episode 12 of the In Your Face podcast. You got your man Flawless. What's good? You got your boy Icon. Shoot. And you got Hey Kev in this motherfucker. And today we're going to talk about how far is too far. You know, we're going to say <laughs> if, if men can get away with the shit that women get away with and that shit be justified. Or do you look down, get looked down upon because we men and we just basically aren't allowed to to do the shit or say the shit that y'all say without looking soft or like a bitch or something like mm -hmm. that. So we're gonna start this off a little fucked up. We're gonna go into can men be raped? Men, listen to what I'm saying. Can men be raped by women? I I think if if I ain't trying to give you no dick and you trying to take some dick from me and you don't, but I don't I don't know. I don't think men can be. I don't know unless this bitch, cause you you're not gonna get hard if you're not horny, and that's, that's the true. only way I really feel like a that's woman. That's the only way you can get raped. Yeah, Little, is it? I mean, will she just pop your junk in her mouth and just get to going, and you don't want it? Like, is that rape? Yeah, maybe you might be right about that one. Like, I mean, she's just taking your junk at that point. You might be right about that one. I wonder, I, I wonder, like, and then if you report it as a man, I wonder, like, even in the court as a judge, I wonder what they think you saw. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're going to be, if, if you being honest, like, no man has never report that. Like, most of the time, if a man get raped, he's not going to report it. Like, most of the time, it'll just be in a story. He might just randomly just say, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of times, like, they go on Oprah and have a conversation or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they, I mean, they're not going to just be like, ah, oh, yeah, I got raped. They're not going to call the police. None of that's going to actually happen. So y'all ain't never came close to being raped by no woman? Nah. I've definitely been raped before. <laughs> but it's, it, it turned into uh, consensual. <laughs> it's not, it's not. It's I not. mean, but it's like I didn't want it. And you know, bro, you got screwed over, bro. <laughs> I'm like... It, it wasn't consensual, but like I said, that's why I said that, bro. Like, she just popped it in her mouth. She, she popped it in there, and I was like, man, dang. And then it was too late after that. So, I got raped in the no, beginning. Man, that's, not, that's, not, that's not rape if you, consent, if you consent with it. Okay, nah, because nah, it's, 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 you really don't want it at all. Like, what, rape okay. is really, you don't want nothing to do with that's the That's true. So, if you flip the roles, and you force yourself on a chick, and let's say she getting raped, and you just taking it, and she like, no, please stop. And you really just start hitting it, and she just like, oh, shoot. Like, that's and get great. into it. But that's she get great. into it in the middle. That's See, that's that's a double standard, though. How can, how can that be considered rape? And we doing the exact same thing, and it's not considered rape. Uh, it's, 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 it's literally, bro, the exact same thing, though, bro. That's the exact that's, that's, same thing. Bro, you can't, you can't do that. You can't. That's the fuck. I'm telling you. It's, it's not. It's that's not. That's not, that's not how it works. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't. There's no. There's no. Uh, let's be honest. It's a double standard. It's super double. It's standard. a double standard. That's but I mean, up. at the end of the day, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it's just a double standard. It's a tough thing. Men, men got to take it. At the end of the day, <laughs> that's fucked up. I mean, I mean, I mean, like a lot, like. So what about? So what about? What you say with domestic? Like the same domestic thing? violence? Yeah. Oh, domestic? Oh yeah, I got pieced up. <laughs> but you look weak when you when you like you come home with with. Uh, I mean, you go tell a run to the police with a. With a, I done got pieced up. I'm talking about, listen, I done got pieced up. You hear me? I, like, I, wasn't, I wasn't even ready. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was one of those where, you know, you wasn't, you, you wasn't ready. Like, you was talking, but you didn't know that they had that in them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you y'all arguing, you know what I mean? And you like, man, this, that, and the third. And then, you know, you, you already busted. Because most of the time, women that already went through your phone, they already know everything. Uh -huh. But they don't get that bitch the right to beat your ass. I mean, you got to take it because, I mean, most. truth be told, truth be told, I mean, it ain't So good. if that's the case, then they need to take it. No, when I drop these no, bowls on them, no, bitches, what you mean, no, bitch? No. Who this nigga called? Oh, no. You got to take it. I'm going to ride back to that just double no, standard. Hey, listen, like. listen, but look, look, this is how the story went, though. Look, she already had all the information that she needed. Mm -hmm. So 
me, I'm bold faced lying, trying to keep, you know, keep the peace. I'm thinking I'm good. You know what I'm saying? And she like calm. So I'm like, oh, okay, so everything going through. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the lie is rolling, right? Right. Man. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I said, oh, <laughs> man. Hey, I'm gonna serve you. Hey, I said, oh, I wasn't ready for that. It was Look, a three it was, piece hey, call? three piece real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you got hit twice before you reacted. Like yeah. that. See, at least hit with the right and the left coming. So then you can bump out, then you react to chicken. Yeah, look, yeah look. you gotta grab you gotta grab both hands yeah. and look at the whole cop down. Look, 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 look at it like this though. If a female really got her being your age, which it happens. I'm not gonna share her everybody know. Like a bitch will uh, bring a bat to your face. But if a bitch really out here beating you up like that, and and you go to the police and be like, man, this bitch done hit me in the head with a bat, all this, that, and the third, and you got a, a she got a scratch on her arm, most oh, likely you're you done. go to jail. You're which done. is crazy. Definitely happened to one of my niggas. That is the And he called shit. the police. What? She was piecing him up the whole night. And he he called the police and he went to jail. That shit is goofy, man. That's like, crazy. As a, as a man, as a man, you gotta take domestic violence. No, like, we, you I don't. mean, to you be all the way real, it's, it's kind of messed up. It's kind of messed up. It's if you not really think kinda, about it, it's fucked up. A man, a man gotta take domestic violence. A nigga gotta get his he, got, he definitely gotta. He definitely gotta take. He definitely gotta take. If if what he had. Think? What? Do you, I'm talking oh yeah. Yeah, we, we, we got to take that. I, that's I just, don't think so. It's, it's, like, I, I fully accept this a double right. standard world. I right. accept it. Right. It's a lot of women that don't. And like to your point, I've been in that where the conversation heated. I probably the guy called slipping. I'm thinking I'm straight. I so get to you guys. I no no no. This is my story. Oh, okay, cool. I, 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 I thought I'm the only bro, one. I'm no, I'm saying, letting oh, you know. Man. I'm letting you know now. When I tell you we going back and forth, blah 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 blah. Bro, I turn my head to the right, ain't thinking nothing on it, and I feel a blah. Nigga, and my mouth was open. <laughs> she low key dislocated my jaw to this day. She'll never know. I'm just like, oh, nigga, I can't close my mouth. Oh, you got me messed up. Like, you got me nigga. But she rocked me, bro. Yeah, rocked me, goddamn bro. Rocked me, bro. Motherfucker hit me like this. Right, and then he, and, and it, don't, it don't come in my mind at all to call the police. Because I'm a little weak. Nah, <laughs> like, like, you, ain't call, you ain't calling the police. Oh, you really gonna have I'm a really conversation. Good. Like, hey, man, who taught you that? Because then you gotta. You, hey, I'm. I'm I'm telling you, you really, gotta, you really gotta think about it and be like, man, who taught her that? Because a Cause week later, I really was like, man, what made you do that? Like, <laughs> do you do that often? Like, let oh, me man, know what man, I'm man, in for. Hey, boy, that was a beast. But yeah, but it, it shouldn't it happen, but it does happen, nigga. That shit is fucking. Yeah, and I mean, they say you got the right to defend yourself, but. To an I, extent, nigga. I, bro, I really feel like the only time you got a right to defend yourself yeah, if a female right. attacking you is if you don't know her. Like, y'all not in a relationship, it's a chick on the street, yeah. and she coming at you. Because if y'all are, it's considered domestic. Because they, the, dude, the courts already look at it like, nigga, you a man, you can beat this bitch up, so. We ain't letting you slide with that shit, which I think is goofy, man. Because a lot of niggas probably in a relationship with a bitch that probably can't beat their ass up, man. Mm -hmm. It is. I be looking at man. that when it's a chick bigger it's than a nigga that work, It's a nigga that work with me. I know for a fact his wife be whooping his ass. I know she be beating his ass. <laughs> oh, God, is my witness, nigga. I know she be beating this nigga ass. And he, and I guess they, she love it. I mean, some women like to be dominant, man. That, I guess... That's just and they're not they supposed to be, bro. They not. They're not supposed to be. I really feel like a woman should let a man be the alpha, the head of the household. That shit don't He's supposed to be the leader. I they mean, don't. a man is supposed to be a man role. A woman should not be they trying to. They chivalry, nigga, but they, these motherfucking bitches are, uh, fight you to the death for that shit. It's like, you, we, we want to give you something that you asking for, but when we give you what, you know, when we attempt to give you what you asking for, bitch, you want to fight us about this shit, mm -hmm. which I think is just mm -hmm. the craziest shit on earth. It's, like, it's definitely it's definitely crazy out here. Man. Why do you want to like, fight a man that want to, you know what I mean? I feel like that treat post you, is... Treat you right type shit. It, nah, it, it, nah, nah, come on, let's, on let's, let's, let's be honest. If a, if a girl is trying to fight you, you done had some bogus stuff going on. Nah, hell no. Nah. Nah, not all the time. I'm not saying her I'm physically not, fighting you. I'm, I'm talking about fighting back as far as like accepting what you giving her type shit. Like, what you talking about? Like I'm talking about as far as like you want to be the guy that she wants you to be, but you know what I mean? You putting all this work in, but she done, you know, women always just feel like 
I done been here, this nigga done did me like this, so that's why I'm the way I am, and this, then, the third. And it's like, all right, we get that at first, you feel me? But as time goes on, my nigga, if I don't see no change in, in that shit, like, then, bitch, the way, what am I doing with you then? You know what I mean? Like, there's no point in trying to even share an attempt to do anything for you or, or with you, and then they act like, why you acting like you don't fuck with me this or why you acting like this now? Like, I'm, bitch, really trying to, I'm really trying to follow like what you're talking about. Like, as far as niggas, I'll just say it's chivalry, nigga. Like, chivalry. As far, yeah, as far as like trying yeah, to treat a woman right and shit, being being that that nigga for a woman, and these motherfuckers just this act like that. Like no yeah, nothing's good enough for women nowadays, bro. Oh, like, you nah, that saying, nah, like, that's you, nothing. That's you bring not a bring a woman to the world, she be like, nigga, you forgot the moon. Mm, like, nah, it ain't good. That's not. That's not. That's not true. That's not true at all. I mean, if this ain't this ain't this ain't even close to that. I, I feel like we I feel like we're going into different things now. If you're talking about like now, it's the, the I think the time I think that I think a lot of people are ungrateful. It's like it's a lot of ungrateful people, but I don't think women is like to the point to where you you treating her right, you buying her whatever, you know, you bringing her flowers and this that, doing all the extra. I don't think that's the case, but Shit. but if you listen, I'm gonna be real. I'm, I've been a whole hoe out shit. Uh huh. Like for real, for real. I've been I've been out here clowning. So most of the time, if I'm if we get into a domestic a domestic little thing, it's, it's on me. Yeah. One hundred percent. One million percent. How y'all how y'all been doing? How y'all been doing with the quarantine, man? Week week uh what's this week two? It's been it, cool to me. Shit. You about this lockdown? What we gonna do? Yeah. I've been alright with this. I'm gonna let y'all know. The um, game has been exceptional. <laughs> the game. This is nothing new to me though. Like this quarantine shit. That's what I said, bro. Niggas that play the game, we good on being on lockdown. Like we ready. It's the niggas that just got to get out to have a life that that suffering. But to be real with you, uh, they not doing it right. I don't even think it's just uh Indiana. I think it's a lot of the states too. People I talk to, they not they not doing it right, man. Um, cause nobody staying in the house. We supposed to be. On like a stay-at-home order, but everybody still moving like regular because we essential. <laughs> Man, that bro, that is crazy that everybody's job is essential. Yes, it is. Like when I first heard the it, the economy is essential. It so, is. I mean, if everybody start but, but, working. That'll be that'll be. Man, you. I mean, this is nice. this is one of them things where. It ain't you want to do it, but it's damn near you got to do it because who cares about the economy? Who cares about your job? Who cares about getting just going out if everybody dead or sick? Because niggas can't work if you dead. You definitely ain't coming to work if you sick. Like, and all you're going to do is affect everybody else being out there. What's they, up, cuz? They literally got to lock it down where, nigga, you can't come out the house for two weeks. And if they catch you, you get a fine the first time, catch you again, you go to jail. That'll keep niggas in the house. That will stop the spread for corona all day. I mean, but to be all the way real, I think I think uh I think corona is extremely serious. But at the at the same time, I think people they they not broadcasting like how people is recovering from it either. Like it's a lot of people. I don't know the actual numbers. But I do know it's a lot people of people recovering. recovering. Yeah, but it's, people a lot. it's the pe it's the people <laughs> in the middle that's recovering. It's not older people. Up. It's not older people. It's not young like infants and stuff. Going up Them going people up. ain't recovering. It is people out here that get it who's in their thirties, twenties, and you straight. Which I heard you still ain't even straight up for that because once it get in your lungs, it leave you with scar tissue. So your lungs ain't gonna expand to full capacity that you could have had before Corona. Yeah. So, I mean. I mean, you're still not winning. So yeah. I feel people on, oh, man, you don't want to stop working and people got to eat, but they going to have to learn or look at Italy and everybody else and, and China, how it done spread throughout everywhere that, nigga, y'all just going to have to shut it down for a second. You're going to have to let rent slide. You're going to have to light bill slide. You're going to have to let all this stuff I slide. I thought they let rent slide. Yeah, they did. But uh, I don't know. I'm about to pay rent like Monday. So. <laughs> I'm about to pay Monday. <laughs> Oh, you ain't gonna test it. I'm gonna go in there and ask. I'm gonna go. Oh, gonna I, ask. I'm gonna go in there and be like. Asked. I think you just be bold and I'm, be like, nah, I, wait, nah, because I, I ain't trying to be statement. bold and have an eviction on my door. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna go in there. Nah, that, that's, that's when that's when that's when you petition to. Uh, that's when you call Orange Man. You see what he say. We we'll see what he do for you. Oh man, he ain't doing nothing for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't doing nothing for me, man. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna just. Hey, I'm gonna go in there definitely. And nigga, I cap a little bit. Hey. 
My yeah, hours been cut one. severely at work. I ain't got rent. What y'all want to do? And if they hit me with a, you still got to pay me. All right, I'll be back, y'all. Oh, let God. me go get it real get this quick. Money order real quick. <laughs> hey, let me go get that money order straight up. Well, I just look like. But I definitely feel like everybody need to be having a hazard pay. Every job that's working right now and they ain't getting no hazard pay and they start here working in it, that's some bull crap. This guy. That's some bull crap. Straight up. Like it is it's it's a couple companies out here, which I give it to them that are actually paying their people. Don't want to pay pay pay, nigga. But you know what's crazy? My uh with my gig, they 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 give you the money. They give you because they gave me a five hundred dollar bonus. But mm -hmm. it, well, what's the what's the point if it take taxes off? True, and I mean, like, I mean, and, they taking the, I mean, they taking the money right that's, back. That's what I'm saying, so, man. I mean, like, it's like and then don't bucks, don't yeah. and don't act like you helping us. Like, bro, my job did like some. They trying to be slick, bro. When they like, yeah, we'll pay your lunch at certain accounts. Bro, I don't got none of those accounts they talking about paying lunch for, it, so I'm not eating off of that. <laughs> then they like, if you don't make 40 hours, we're still gonna pay you 40 hours. I deliver beer. When I tell you my truck been full every day, like <laughs> you ain't paying me nothing cause I'm out here saying I ain't gonna lie to you. Liquor, liquor store, store been banging, yeah, nigga. Hey, I'm taking I'm pallets in there. In there. Hey, I'm, go drink I'm there. taking pallets in there, boy. I'm like, bro, there's no way the liquor store is essential. Hey, I had a liquor store right there on 42nd and post, uh, what was that? Like Wednesday? And it was me and my nigga Drew in the truck. So we in the back. You know the one right there on 42nd and Post. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, why Shorty just walked back there, pull her pants down right in front of us, look at us and go like this, like wave, nigga, and just start pissing and shit right on the middle of the floor. And then just, listen, didn't wipe her ass. I guess toilet paper really fucked up out here because Shorty just pulled her pants up, nigga, and just waved again and walked off. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm like, what the that's some crazy. fuck? That's some crazy. Yeah, man. So, but the fucked up part is, nigga, we had to walk around that way. So I'm like, oh no, I don't want to oh, go nowhere near oh, that man. shit. Shorty shit right on the floor, people, yo. You know what? People ain't really people ain't following the rules, though. They don't give a fuck. Ain't not. Like, ain't nobody, ain't nobody standing in the crib for real, for real. Crackheads was the cause. Ain't of not. I'm telling no, you. Hey, look, I done got to be all the way real. I'm gonna keep it real too. Look. I done went outside, I got the cleaning out my car, you know what I'm saying? When it got the, uh, I went straight to the thing, like. What, what thing? Uh, Don't say crew car wash. No, no, nah, nah, I ain't gonna, nah. No. I'm about to say, they sent you too? Right. <laughs> no, everybody open. Bro, that's crazy, Every business bro. Everybody's business open. That's crazy. Boys don't want to lose that money. They really don't. But that, that I'm telling you, that's a sour pill to swallow. Like, nigga, that yeah. makes sense. You don't care about your employees. Like, they don't. Look at Gangstop. Gangstop shut wish. down. They, they made them shut down. I wish. Mm -hmm. They made. GameStop was oh, like, yeah. nigga, fuck y'all. Oh, uh, yeah, Stacey, you on. That shit's I wish crazy. I could nigga. work from home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, them people that's working from Everybody home. Everybody that's working from home, fuck you. Straight up. <laughs> fuck you. Straight up. I'm fuck ready, right? Ass. Oh, wow. You get to work oh, from no, home. Fuck, fuck. Woohoo! Nigga, fuck I'm tired of that. Hey, I'm tired of niggas bragging about it. Nigga. For real. Oh, yeah, Posting man, pictures home. and shit. Fuck y'all. Yeah, yeah. Hey, how y'all. Oh, dang. Y'all just said y'all. I'm, I'm so thirsty to talk about it. What's the up? The battles that been going on. But y'all, y'all ain't, ain't nobody watching. I mean, they might know what's up with it. You can tell them about it. Well, basically, they've been battling on IG, uh, Swish Beats and Timbaland. Um, the Dream, the Dream and Sean is, is is battling tonight. They going through it tonight, but they've been hey, they've been clowning, they've been talking crazy to each other. I'm talking crazy. They making that battle. Yeah. Like they, it's a friendly battle. No, nah, it ain't friendly. Oh, they, they not they not they beefing for real? No, nah, ain't nobody beefing for but, real. But okay, so it's like a real rap battle yeah, where you no, coming at him not, strong. No, it's not they they playing their music. So all these dudes is established producers and writers and all But they talking trash. But right? they talking crazy to each other. Yeah. I'm gonna check that out. People. I'm gonna check that out. Yeah. I think that'll be hard. That's why I said when you said when you was watching the dream with other dude, I'm like, shoot, I know the dream is, I don't know who other dude is. Sean Garrett? I don't. Like, I'm pretty sure I heard his music or something. Oh, yeah, you 100 percent. Yeah, that you were singing at uh, karaoke. He wrote that. What was I singing at karaoke? Yeah, Michael Jackson. Nah, uh, Usher. Oh, oh, I was singing with Lil yeah, Jackson. Yeah, he wrote that. 
He wrote that song. I ain't I, I ain't never seen a nigga party the way Nick party though. What you mean? Hey, I thought shit was was fake when he's like, bro, we I go out, I have a blast, bro. That time we went <laughs> to, the, to the club that one time, nigga. Oh, what the time? Bro, when you uh, I forgot. I think it was your birthday, bro. Hey, we could have down the there at the club yeah, on thirty eight. Yeah. That silhouette, bro. I said this nigga Nick be showing out, I'm nigga. Bro. bro, hit the dance floor, oh, dolo. I didn't even see that one? I wish I would have seen that. Bro, he be dolo. He be out there just middle of the dance floor. My nigga really I see, be. I'm bored. a dancer. Oh yeah, he, he a dancer, bro. Bro, that nigga's wild. Can y'all dance? Who? Can y'all dance? I don't think I ever know. I don't know. Y'all can dance. Y'all got no rhythm. Yeah, I'll get you up out of it. Give me about that what? Two stepping. Get you up out of there, bro. Kevin, can you dance? I don't want to call it dancing because y'all don't call it dancing, you, no boy. You just move. I can dance, dance like dance, dance. Like what? You, what's dance? Like dance? I can damn the break dance. Ah, uh, like crunk dance. Bro, no, that bro. That's he said break dance, and that means he he, he on the floor. Yeah, that's what he talking about. That ain't about. you. That I, I never swear to God, God, bro. One hundred percent, you're not spending on the floor. I swear to God, bro. I'll pay twenty to see that. <laughs> All right, one hundred percent. What you want to see me do? I Look, my sister know I can dance, nigga. I want to see you I can, like I can break do. down, dance, bro, I like can you dance, said, dance. But you do that, I'm letting everybody know right now. I will put that on your man father's YouTube channel, Kevin Breakdown Dancing. I can hey, dance, Kevin. and I will do it, bro. I will bro, do that's it, bro. crazy. When the last time you did it? What broke break dance? Yeah. Nigga, shit, it's been like this. Okay, so your mind think you can do it, but your body ain't gonna act like it. It's it's just muscle memory, bro. And you ain't got it no bro, more, I bro. I probably can still. I do it, promise you, listen to me, bro. This is what's happening. I mean, that's right the now. same thing. That's the it's same just, thing when people say. I mean, I've had. Look, look now you got all them talking about. Let me see. Now, nah, straight up. Like, I'm about to get up and dance in the middle of the podcast. I mean, not in the middle of the podcast. Hey, I told them. No, y'all gonna have to wait on the YouTube channel. I'm not. Y'all right now. Y'all gonna have to wait on the YouTube channel. I can really dance, though, bro. I mean, I used to really. Take dancing serious, bro. Like I, I believe you because I mean I used to be way better than I was now. Like I can do, but it, I feel like, like dancing. On me, ain't they? I feel like you. I feel like That's dancing. Sad. I feel That's like really. dancing is like fighting. Like if you ain't fought in years, your memory is remembering your no, last this, fight. Oh, hold on, man. hold on, let hear me out. Hear me out. Your your last fight is like when you was eighteen. You was a beast. If you quick, boom boom, get a boy up out of there. Yeah. You like thirty something now. So you're like, bro, I definitely can bang. You remember what you thought. You get into a fight now. You gonna move. You gonna move slower. I'm not thirty something. You gonna move, slower. Gonna move, slower, gonna move <laughs> slower than you thought you could really move. Like I can't. I ain't got it no I more. Dance, That's bro. what niggas accept that they ain't got it no more. No, I can dance, so you bro. say you ain't broke down dancing in years? It's been probably about two or three years since I, the last time I really. Cut a rug. How much I cut a rug? <laughs> <laughs> how much, how much <laughs> weight you done put on since then? I've lost weight since then. They say, okay, you probably can move. Yeah, I've lost almost 50 pounds since then. You know what? Yeah. You know what? I'm 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 gonna go a step further, bro. This is what I'll do for you. I'll challenge you to a dance off. Do you really? On my channel. Okay. We can do a dance off and y'all can uh y'all can see y'all let I'll us know in the comments. Badly. What you wanna do? Thirty seconds of peace. That new dance shit. Bro, I'm going to slaughter. I'm a beast, bro. If you start doing bro, any of that <laughs> shit, if he starts doing any of that bullshit, <laughs> this new look, that shit, that whoa shit, I'm going to fuck you up, bro. Nasty. Nasty. I'm gonna fuck you up, bro. I'm gonna fuck you up. But I'm telling you, man, yeah, man, I'm a, I'm a dancing motherfucker, man. I'm a dancing motherfucker. Bro, why you ain't never did that, bro? When we go out. Because bro, I don't. It's really hard to break dance in the in the like. Nah, you can. This ain't this ain't. We ain't got the we, we ain't got the culture. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, bro, dude, Midwest ain't like, got that culture. You ain't. It ain't a dancing culture. No, not at all, bro. Not, this is a this, this, is, this is, is a copycat culture. Bro. Yeah, like this 100%. ain't like if you if you if you go to a club right now today and I start like if dancing. you go on the West Coast, they they probably got like a team then they got like a group. So they got that little thing, they, they yeah. song come on, they do their little number, mm -hmm. bam, they done. Niggas if you love. did that here, bro, with niggas just standing on the wall, what you mean? I would niggas love to see. I don't understand, like, like, you ain't break that down good enough for me. How could you not just do your dance wherever because you at? No, just, if you go, if you if you get in like the middle of the dance around. floor right here in Indianapolis, I guarantee they either going to laugh at you, or they gonna cheer you up. Nah, nah they gonna laugh. If you killing it, 
Like, I'm gonna say it like this. Nah, if you kill it, then you Greatness can't, can't be denied. No matter who you are, if you in the club and we tell everybody, oh, back up, back up, back up, that's gonna get everybody attention, but you get the spinning and you clown it, I guarantee boy it's gonna be like, he a beast. I what? No, people, no. People be hating, bro. People do, but the majority of the crowd not gonna hate if you really killing it. Now, if you trash, they they about to laugh at you, but bro, if you killing it, bro, they gonna be with you. If I got on the dance floor, bro, in the middle of the dance, for one, we don't even have music <laughs> to break dance to nowadays. No, I know it, it could be one good song that'll come on that you can break dance to. Like what? You really can go to DJ and make a request. Like, hey, play this next. I'm about yeah, to chill. I'm about to, I'm about Throw to break Throw me my little tip. Yeah, bro. In the middle of the... <laughs> and they expect motherfuckers to move. Yeah, bro, you got to... You got to... You got to... Just imagine thing, bro, listen to me. Listen to me. Y'all have That's to... Y'all got to demand the dance floor, bro. You so, demand you demand it. You go out there. No, no, no. You ain't got to do that. Bro, once you get to... Uh, you know the little step you got to do to get ready to break dance. Niggas is going to be like, oh, this nigga pushing me. Oh, hold on. This is how these circles get created, if y'all remember going out. Circles get created because somebody get to going extra hard. Uh, uh, somebody oh, popping. This nigga. <laughs> they, they hit you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. This this nigga, but it's man. true. They hit me going extra hard. Everybody turn around and get to looking. And then you know just once that noise start popping, you got your niggas with you. So we're going to be like, hey, there we go. Hey. Everybody gonna get the look in? That's your time to shine. <laughs> your nigga said you up for pure failure. No, bro. Bro, I bro, ain't your nigga. No, bro. If, if I'm not your this niggas, is, bro. This is, this is your nigga. This is your niggas. We'll know if you honestly good at it, and we'll be like, bro, you should really do that. For example, I know my nigga Icon can really rap. Right. I feel like if we were somewhere and it was like open mic, do this, but I'd be like, no, get that. Get that because I know he can do it. Right. So you ain't gonna set your nigga up for failure. Right. If I know now you but can see, break dance. Bro, don't ever let me see another nigga break dance and we there. I'm gonna be like, Kevin, no, yeah, he had me fucked up. <laughs> then I have to check that nigga. <laughs> then I have to check that nigga, bro. Now that I feel disrespected <laughs> by. I'll be like, yeah. Kevin, get like, it. Like the it's fuck? Stupid. Hold on, little little nigga. Like, then let me get him together real quick. <laughs> is that all the thing you can move is a drink? That boy is silly. Nick. Hey, the wrong start moving. You drink too much. Boy, oh, my mama. <laughs> get the get fucked up. Yeah, man, my guy's a sober guy. He don't drink. Boy, I don't hey, when I tell you the worst, I think the worst time I, I got drunk. The worst. The worst. Man, they was doing this. Like they they had us drinking. Um, what was them flavored bud lamaritas and stuff like yeah. that? So we, man, we was drinking some of the worst, it was the worst mixes. Four Locos. It was like La Maritas, <laughs> then it was like Grammy, then it was Henny, then it was like, Ooh. it was like just all kind of crazy stuff that yeah. didn't mix. It just sounded. Anyway, long story short, get to the end of the night, I thought I was cool. Until you always think you cool until, until you stand up. <laughs> when you stand up. Like, when you feeling it, you stand up. Man, hey, look, I got up. I thought, I swear I was good. I, hey, I bullshit you not. I took one step, and then I start going to the right. Oh. Hey, ran clean into the wall, bust my head. Like split it. Oh shit. No. You was fucked up. I was gone. Ain't nothing hey, listen, ain't nothing worse than the time I got drunk. Nigga, that's that's what makes me not drink. Basically, the way I used to, nigga. Went to my cousin party. Now this is a story. Went to my cousin party. Swear to God, my cousin Dallas. Nigga, now take it, put in mind, my cousin gay. Alright? Mm -hmm. So it was his birthday. We go over there, nigga. I'm like, all right, let me let me go on here. Throw Somebody gonna say noodle knees. Hey, forget y'all. I'm about I'm about motherfucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about motherfucking. Uh, what? Twenty two. So you know what I mean. I'm just now really hitting that age where I can really get thrown. I don't really know too much about liquor because I ain't really been mm -hmm. the type of nigga to drink that shit. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, I'm I hear Hennessy. All the niggas drink Hennessy. Let me try this shit out. I'm sitting here throwing them back. I'm taste that first. I'm like, ugh. Like, this is why alcohol tastes like this shit. Nasty the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. But after a couple of them bitches, you don't really taste nothing no more. Mm -hmm. So at that point, anything that was given to me was getting drunk. Whites, browns, it, it didn't matter. I was drinking everything. 
So I'm drunk. I'm at the party, fucked up. They like, I'm like, I'm about to go home. I'm about to get in my car and drive, nigga. I'm, I can barely walk, but I'm about to go the fuck home. Get they like, nah, cause you coming with us. Like we about to go out. You gotta go with us. You can't. We can't let you leave. I'm like, all right, cool. I leave the motherfucking house. I mean, we leave. I don't even remember, I swear to God, I don't even remember getting in the car. Next thing I know, I'm at a club downtown. It's a gay club, nigga. I'm in this, I swear to God, nigga. I'm in this motherfucker. I'm, I'm in this motherfucker. My cousin Precious got me, though. She she on me because she like, listen, we ain't going to let you go out like that tonight type shit. So I'm like, because, bitch, I'm fucked up. You know what I mean? So I'm in the club. I don't went to the bathroom. I had to have her walk me because I'm like, damn, which one do I use in this motherfucker? Like, it's niggas that like bitches, bitches that like niggas. I don't know nothing. Oh, so I'm in the middle of the alley. I go to the bathroom, boom, I come out that motherfucker. I can't find nobody. I'm so fucked up, though. I'm just like, all right, let me just sit down anywhere. I sit down, music come on. I'm like, bitch, I get up, I get this. I'm just, I'm literally fucked up. I'm not even dancing. I'm just, somebody walked up on me and danced. I don't know what it was. Oh, That's what fucked me up. Somebody walked up on me. So I'm just dancing. I probably was dancing with a man. I don't even know this. Yeah. So you know I'm feeling the way. Nigga, next thing you know, they take me outside. We go to the side of the club. They got like a little little bar outside type. Not a bar, but like seats and shit that they're we out there smoking. Now I'm high. So I done drunk all that and now I'm high. Then a motherfucker. We leave, and I don't even remember how we left. We get on Bedford. We going back to Cush House. We get on Bedford, nigga. I'm throwing up everywhere. I done threw up at the club, in the club, outside the club, so, in his car. We get on Bedford. Them niggas said that I got out the car and just start running full speed down <laughs> Bedford, nigga. Like, they hit a light, and I just jumped out and was gone. Oh, like, man. motherfucker kidnapped me. They was like, nigga, we have to chase you in the car. Like, literally take me. So, I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm booking it, bro. <laughs> they done they they call my motherfucking ass boo. I go in the house, nigga. I don't they I'm I'm I am i did not know you can get drunk to the point where your legs don't work. So they dragging me. Nigga, I done, they done put me in the bathroom. I done threw up everywhere but in the toilet. Like I it stole all on my cousin floor, nigga. Hey, I done I threw up you, all bro. on this nigga floor. Get God, they call my baby mama, cause they like, man, come get Kevin. It's like 4 a.m. She come get me. I done threw up in my car, all in my car, and then I'm going home, I done threw up all in my bed, all in my brand new J's. Nigga, I had some limited edition Jordans, nigga, that I, I won in a raffle, nigga. It was only like 12 pairs to the city, and I got them. Man, I was so shitty, bro. Wake up, and I didn't a hangover, bro. That was my first time having a hangover, bro. Uh, yeah, it no, felt hangover. like a That's nigga beat my ass, yeah, nigga. I'm talking about I woke up like, yeah, no, nah, that's, uh, that's the worst part about drinking is a hangover. Bro, oh that's the God. worst part. Yeah, hey, no. I'm gonna let y'all know from a sober person, uh, you know, point of view of this, people that drink, please keep that friend in mind. Whoever's the designated driver for the night or the friend that drink. don't drink, Do keep them in drink. mind because for some reason, when y'all get drunk, it's my responsibility to make sure y'all make it home all right. You ain't got to worry about that shit with me. Boy, when I tell you that made me not want to drink even more, I was like, man, I'm not about to be out here looking like this guy. Boy. Like, I mean, my dudes that get drunk, and I mean, one minute they walking with me, we go, I go to the club next, there's a whole m -Lims outside taking them away. I'm like, what? Happen like, bad, bro. and then they just put it on you. Like, bro, you got to make sure they you get home. You ain't seen shit, though. Nigga, the first time I got high, oh, that was the that was worse than the drunk. I, I, what? I thought I thought that make you just nah, chill first, out. Nah, 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 not me. That shit hit me. So, up, nigga, I thought my shit was laced. I'm dead ass, nigga. I was cranking. Mm. I was about 13, nigga. I'm smoking. Oh God, I'm over there in my auntie crib, nigga. I'm in the house, blowing. Like I'm hitting this motherfucker. Like there's no tomorrow, bro. Just like fuck it. I see the niggas on TV doing it. I'm about to hit this bitch. Next thing you know, nigga, I'm allergic to cinnamon, nigga. I'm fucking cinnamon toast crunch up. Listen to me. I'm fucking this bowl of cereal up, nigga. I swear to God, I'm fucking it up. Hey, you had to be high. If you were allergic to it and you smacking it. All I remember was this, bro. We was watching Larry the Cable Guy. I put my right hand up to God, nigga. I sat back, nigga. I got comfortable. Fuck me up. I sat back, nigga. All I heard was... 
Yeah, yeah. Like, the fuck? I'm like, hold on, nigga. Is motherfuckers echoing? I'm like, all right. I said, I'm tripping, auntie. Auntie like, what? I said, auntie, I'm tripping. Nigga, the TV kept going, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm like, so now, nigga, you ever seen these Friday, nigga? I'm moving like Smokey was, nigga, like, like twitching, bro. And I'm like, all right. So then I get up. I'm nervous as fuck. At this point, everything was like, oh, that's exactly what I said. Like, oh, run to the kitchen. Nigga, my auntie running her, nigga. She, she like giving me water out the fucking, out the sink like this and shit. Like trying to get a nigga hydrated. Bro, all I knew was I turned around, nigga, and the motherfucking refrigerator was talking to me, bro. What's bro, this real life? This is like, real life, bro. It's crazy. I remember the whole thing, nigga. I'm legit arguing with the <laughs> stove in the fridge, like bitch ass nigga, swinging on it, bro, yeah, bro punching like, it. I get butt ass yeah. naked. I done got butt ass naked, bro. Went upstairs. This is how you know shit was fucked up. Went upstairs, got on the toilet, took a shit. Don't even know how I had the shit, but I done took a shit. I think it was the milk from the cereals, yeah, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, done took a shit. Tripping. Done hop in the tub. Ain't he wipe my ass? That's how you know I'm fucked up, bro. Listen, but and somehow, nigga, my drawers was about tore as fuck. I'm like, how the fuck I tear my drawers, nigga? So I'm laying on the couch, nigga. I, I the, the hot on went down, bro. So I'm over here embarrassed, like, oh god, I'ma prank the fuck out. Next thing you know, nigga, it done hit again. The shit come back. I'm trying to run outside. I'm like, man, only thing I think that's gonna work is if I get some fresh air, nigga. So I get some fresh air. She she just opened the door. She wouldn't let me outside, nigga. So I, she finally take me back in the house. They call my mama, boom. They call my motherfucking mama. She take me to the hospital. I go to the hospital, nigga. People in the hospital staring at me. Like, at least I think they staring at me. So I'm like, the fuck you looking at? Like talking to random ass people, bro. My mama like, what the fuck wrong with you? I'm like, the fuck she looking at, man? Like, I'm snapping, bro. I get back there, the doctor like, looking at me like this, like, my mama said, I think he alerted to something. He looked at me like, nigga, you gonna tell her or am I gonna tell her, nigga? Like, <laughs> like this nigga high. <laughs> like, this nigga high as fuck. <laughs> so, bro, that was the fuck up. That, that's why I was like, man, I don't know about weed, man. So, weed, it affected it affect everybody. It different. fucked me up, bro. It uh, fucked yeah. me up. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I only smile. I've only done it once. No, that I shit fucked me up. I've only I done it once. Bitch. How'd you feel? Bro, it was the worst feeling ever. That's... No, I'm too. I'm a mellow person. I'm a mellow person. Yeah, as it is. I'm not. I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm not super. This, this that trying to get out. I'm too mellow. Yeah. And the first time I did it was the worst decision ever. I'm gonna tell you why. So, it, of course, you know I, I ain't never done it, but I didn't see everybody do it around me. So I'm, you know, I'm naturally, I'm cool with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, look, I I just swore up and down that you know it wasn't nothing. So I get it. I'm, I'm talking about, I'm hitting it hard. Like, man, what is everybody be talking about about this? I'm going too hard. I didn't think I smoked the whole thing to myself. The worst decision ever for your first time. Hey, when I tell you, as that night progressed, I couldn't think of nothing outside of the house. Yeah. I got super emotional. I said, hey y'all, this is it for me. I'm about to die tonight. Yep, like, that's how I you can... feel, bro. <laughs> like, I'm about to die. Like, it literally feel like, oh shit, I'm about to. Hey. And it's all in your head. So you bro. can smoke too much, like you can drink too much. Man, I, I was 13, though, you know what I mean? So my tolerance was like, and I didn't smoke. Yo, and I'm smoking weed like, like that. Yeah, yeah, I was a lightweight. <laughs> like, I mean, shit, now I don't even really smoke, so it ain't. Yeah. Nothing, I probably still am, nigga. Some some regular weed will probably fuck me completely. Nah, I, th I think time. I just I, I think I just got too high my first time. I think if I did it again, I'd be cool. Straight. But I'm talking about I went too hard. Like I damn near smoked the whole blunt by myself the first time. Like you, <laughs> I, I don't think you're supposed to get that high the no, first time all. you do it. I went all. too hard. But getting high, man. I, I kudos to niggas that do it. Shit, if you like that's oh your, yeah, boys is out here. Yeah, niggas be out yeah, here. That thing's probably faster than the corona. We, we nowadays, <laughs> nigga, some of these motherfuckers, nigga, they, it ain't even enough for them. Boys function off of it. It ain't even enough Boy, for them, man. I know man, motherfuckers man. that literally can't eat without smoking. That be, nigga. Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. That be. 
Oh, yeah, no, I know people. I know people, but you know what's crazy? Everybody always say the negative, the negative effects of weed. But some people function like they get smarter after they smoke. Some people say that niggas ask dumb ass questions when they high. I mean, you always naturally. People just ignorant. Period. I'll be like, they are. Uh, my my favorite quote is, "I can quit if I wanted to." No, you can't. Addiction <laughs> is real. Like coming from a nigga that's sober, and I'm looking at you. Bro, once you know you can't quit, I hate when people tell that lie. They just can't quit weed, weed bro. No, they can't. They can't. I mean, they've been weed. smoking for years. They can't. They, they just, it's a, the junkies at that point. It, it's over with. That's I mean, weed is they weed, can't. though. I don't look down on weed now. Other shit, nah, you get I, 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 I look I, down on all drugs. I, I do. do. I know you do. I just, you, you're I a, bro, you, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I think drugs probably make a lot of things better. It probably do. Um, it probably would if they didn't make it against the law. No, nah, I'm like, talking about they make everything better. Like people, people are more entertaining. People are more like uh, dr drugs make everything better. Uh, that's liquor to me. Liquor it depends, liquor, 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 man. Because that drug makes nah, people more dangerous I'm and say, stuff too. Nah, I it make them dangerous I'm to themselves and people around them. I'm be I'm the opposite with liquor. Liquor, I think people shouldn't drink liquor because liquor make you super. Aggressive. Yeah, like then you be all over the place, then you you be. That's what I'm saying, man. Like drinking and driving, people have really lost lives to that. Like I'm not with it. Yeah. I feel like that junk should not exist. Love you too. Cause it really just got people addicted out here. Yeah, nah, that hey, nah, I'm cool off that. We well, make shit better for people who, who, you know, what I mean, who really function good. Out but it don't make shit better for everybody. But they used to function that. before they started smoking weed. Yeah. So that's 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 what blow me is you feel like you need it. When you didn't, you people, wasn't born people, with people, that. People uh, uh, argue with you about weed like they argue with motherfuckers about LeBron and. and oh yeah, they yeah. will fight for it. Hey man, fight fight speaking of LeBron, I'm about to finish this conversation. So LeBron James is better than Kobe Bryant. We're not about to. I'm about to. We about oh, to. Boy, has this that been a conversation? Not, yeah, man, it was I'm a conversation. Having, I'm not having a conversation. It was a conversation. He can have. It. I have never I heard this comparison I yet. I haven't heard it. Man, you a crazy man. Hey, no, hey, listen, listen. I'm, I'm glad he said that. Sugar what? is a drug. Sugar is. Sugar's addictive too. Bro, you are Look at you, to sugar, bro. bro. I am. You are, bro. I, bro I'm the you nigga are. that will tell y'all the truth. I'm not going to lie to y'all at all. Sugar is addictive, bro. Sweets, it tastes too good. Just be real about it. If you're addicted to weed, just be real. Don't sit there and hit me with a, I can stop like, if I want like, to. I'm no, glad. you can't, nigga. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't. The same way I can't stop eating honey buns, nigga, you can't yeah, stop twizzlers, smoking. Nigga. Yeah, Twizzlers oh, right oh, here oh, on the table. It's nigga. Oh, oh, oh. Eat nothing but Twizzlers. Hey, I hard. definitely, I, 100%, I ain't perfect, but I would definitely admit to you yeah. if I can or can't do something. Niggas ain't real. I think that's the part that bugs me the most. What you mean, people ain't when, 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 like, just, we talking about weed, like, if, if I say you can't quit, they're like, yes, I can, nigga, you're lying. No, what you can't. Huh? You can't stop smoking weed if you've been smoking. If that's how you live, you wake up, you gotta smoke, but you can't stop. You're addicted. You can't stop. <laughs> Dude, you're addicted. I I'll be you. feeling like that though with blacks and shit. Just like, I mean, when I that got think, tobacco I in it for real, for think, real. I, I, to be honest, I don't even think it's the, the smoking that I'm addicted to. Like, I don't think it's that that I'm addicted to. I think it's just. A habit yeah, of bro, doing it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's like it's, I wake up and do it. I heard about that. It, it really it, be uh, down to my nerves, though. It do. Because I am a very in my head ass person. Like, I'm always in my head. <laughs> my nigga said, Yes, you can. I stopped for months and then went back. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, be stupid. Hey, it don't God. count, bro. If you if you stop smoking for a week, like I told him, I can do it, and then go back. If you stop, you stop forever. That's to me considered you stop. No, I, to me, I think if you can control it, if you can control your consumption, then that's that's stopping it. What, what's controlling it? I mean, if you eat candy a lot, and then you could just go cold turkey for like a month or two. That's controlling that's cool. Yeah, like if you can literally control your consumption, then that's cool. I don't think so. But if you if you literally are shaking, uh, because you need because you need some sugar or uh, whatever your fix is, <laughs> that's an addiction. <laughs> that's, that's an addiction. Only time sugar really hit me hard, bro, is like 
when I'm when I wake if you wake up in the middle of the night, you want something sweet. Man, bro, that shit is I think we all get hit with that. Like you be want something sweet sometimes. You're like, man, I just want something sweet. Like, let me get something munch on. What the fuck is that? They got rehab. I've on. never I've never done that. <laughs> that I, you know what's got... crazy? I've never woke up in the middle of the night and said that. What want something sweet? Yeah, want something... Nah, I've never you never woken out a midnight snack? Nah, fuck yeah. When I you wake up, what you do? I do, when, I get them. When you when you wake up what you three do. Three I mean, I wouldn't say that you, like, you, you uh, uh like cook them. If you do it three to four times, then you just I mean you just doing it with You addicted? Did he ask if you're addicted? Yeah. Yeah, you addicted. He said <laughs> Oh you my baby. Oh you are you an addict then. No, no, I ain't saying you're an addict. Uh, you're addicted. Like I yeah. have legit woke up in the middle of <laughs> You never had a good blunt. He like, boy, that see, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I understand it feel good. And I mean, I ain't knocking that. that. That's just what I'm saying why you keep going back. Because you know it feel good, so you're going to do it again. She said we we uh, makes her more productive and aware. Yeah, it's a lot I of guarantee you, she, I mean, I, mean, man. I, don't, I, I bet she was productive before she started smoking and don't even know it. Yeah, that's what it is. I think it's a mind thing. It's a it's, it, You just hit the nail on the head. It's a straight mental. We mentally blocked ourselves on everything. Yeah, it's the one million. That, I don't even think that goes without question. Yes, that for real. Yeah, that, that, that's that a drug go, too. I don't think that goes without saying, dude. Yeah, one million. Yeah, one hundred percent. Is pussy a drug? Yeah, one million. Niggas percent. get, uh, get I, sex I, addicted. I'm no, not, I, no. I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you, niggas go to the extreme for pussy. Yeah, one million yeah. percent. I don't think it's addictive because niggas that lied on it's each other. It's addictive, bro. I don't care about it like that, man. Yeah, yeah you I do. Really don't. I like oh, pussy. Yeah, you don't cool, wrong. I just be like, shit, it is what it is when it comes to you will You literally just told me this week, you said, bump what y'all talking about on the game. I need to hit this right now. You literally picked it over that. Like, it's a drug, bro. It feel good. That's me. Yeah, like, bro, I'm telling you, bro, I didn't. Niggas huh? did, nigga, hey, boys have uh, did some crazy stuff. I'm like, what the fuck? Boys been like, like, somebody about to get shot, bro. <laughs> On God as my witness, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we good. <laughs> bro, yeah, oh, my. That's what I'm saying, bro. I was about to shoot somebody. I'm like, nigga, what? <laughs> Yeah, that that shook me a little bit. I ain't gonna start, bro. That like, shook, I, I think awesome. overall, I think overall, sex is a drug. Nah, no, sex ain't no drug, bro. Bro, yeah. that, bro, you crazy? Nah, bro. I, I really don't look at sex. We would walk bro. fifteen blocks for it. <laughs> for real, he ain't lying. We would. Who would? Uh, the, nigga, anybody for for sex? I'm not walking five minutes, nigga. Bitch, Man. not no more. Hey. Not no day. more, but back in the day, Man, that was just kid shit, though. You can't call it an addiction, nigga. That was just curiosity. You call that curiosity, bro. I call that thirst. Yeah, I mean, or they. Or they. But you can't call it an addiction. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you that, that it is an addiction, bro. I don't think so. Because I'm talking about boys and did some crazy. I just seen some crazy stuff done over. Niggas that lied on each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, I'm niggas, telling you. Niggas do do that. Niggas will do do that. That's, that's some true shit. Niggas I did all kind of crazy stuff for it. For real, for real. <laughs> I then you dang near can get addicted to anything though. That's why I say this all I feel like this is a mental thing. You can get addicted to the game. You can get addicted now to that the game. motherfucker right there. I'm <laughs> addicted to that motherfucker. <laughs> I was gonna bitch up if you get my way on playing the game. For real, like, just, like, it's serious on that game, boy. Hey, we I catch hey, all domestic game. For real. I swear to God. Hey, bro, let a bitch cut on. my game off in the I middle of a cop match. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. I ain't throw these gloves on. I'm my mama because I got them fucked up right now. Throw these gloves on. Keep it real. Don't let you play Call of Duty and we about to win? Oh. Is he coming in there on one? Or I plug the game? You, hey, it'll be, hey, bro, I'll be back. I'm about to kill her. I'm about to kill her. She got to go. Hey, oh, shorty, I had to get murdered, nigga. That be the day of murder. Yeah, I would. I, I, to be all the way real, my, my, uh, as far as the game go, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't calm down on that. I mean, I'm still right. Like I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't really like. I mean, bro, you would get hot if somebody interrupted your game. Bro. Nah, I don't care about that for real. What? Bro, I just shut the game down in 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 the midst of a lot of good times. No, are you about to win? Like, hey, nah. 
I believe him because he did that bullshit to us earlier. I mean, he did bro, it to us. Bro, my nigga looked up. My nigga literally. No, nah, that's some bullshit. They triggered the fuck out of me. Bro, my nigga literally just said, all right, I'll be back. It just sat there, bro. Niggas came out of nowhere. As soon as he laid down, bro, niggas came out of nowhere. We like, oh shit. They dropped both of us, bro. We had a self revive. I came. We back. get up, this nigga in the zone. No, nah, then you died to the damn circle, oh, nigga. Yeah. That nigga said, oh shit, damn. I'm <laughs> like, ain't this a, so it's just me. I'm out here solo. I'm shitty as hell, if I said yeah, this nigga, man. I don't, nigga, bro, I don't care that much. Oh, my God. That, I mean, that, that's true. That could be one of your things you don't care about. I don't uh, care about. Not me, nigga. Don't fucking talking to me when I'm in a, in a match. I'm damn near tricked. You said don't talk shut to up. me. <laughs> God damn, shut up, nigga. You ain't talking about nothing. That's, shut up. That's vicious. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like that, man. I'm telling you, boy. The addictions, nigga. If I have any addictions, <laughs> nigga. What, what they say? <laughs> Stacy crazy. He gave you a good laugh. Yeah. He said he got he got he got caught up. Oh shit. Went to. Oh god. Which Stacy is that? Stacy from Monarch. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I sure is. In her basement for like two hours. Dang! That is fierce. How y'all think y'all react if y'all was in that situation? You go to the chick crib, her dude pull up. What you doing? In what that I'm situation? Doing? What you think you doing? I'm gonna be honest. If, if that what's going on, cuz? What if, if if that ever happened to me, I can't see myself hiding. Yeah, I can't, Ooh. I can't either, bro. You I'm just, you, are you going to leave or are you going to leave? I'm just going to walk out that motherfucker. Yeah, like, what if he hit you with that hold on, bro? Nigga, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to hold on for shit, nigga. Who are you, nigga? Fuck out of here. But I mean, we probably got the bump. I've never went to a female house the first time. Without my strap. Yeah, that's the I've never. That's done. super dead. I like that bitch on the strap. table too. Let her know, bitch. I'll shoot you too. Really? Play crazy, bitch. Oh, my mama, I'll wet know, this bitch man. up. I swear to God. <laughs> I will wet this bitch up. I'll kill you and everybody in this motherfucker. You play crazy, bitch. Let this be anything close to a setup. I'll wet this bitch up. I swear to God. My relative, my relative, he told me a crazy story the other day, man. Hey, you got to be careful out here. You do, nigga. You gotta be careful. Uh, he really I'm got. He about, really got set up. Yeah, like he. Uh, he. I'm talking about to the point to where he get over there, and you know they. He talking to her, and she like being real fidgety about the situation. Like she doing like little awkward things and stuff like. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, long story short. <clears throat> He it was like he was like uh I guess he, he said he forgot his strap out in the car, mm. so he was like all right I'll be right back. He told her he was going to get some condoms, but really he was going to get his strap. But it was two niggas. He said it was it was a dude on a on like uh so the way the apartment was the parking is over off to the left. Mm -hmm. Said it was a dude posted on like on the corner, and then it was a dude in the parking lot by his car. Coming that way, had his gun out. Oh damn! Hey, you got to hey, you got to be careful out here, bro. I'm talking about. For so he knew it was chick that set him up because he tried to go back in the house. Yeah, or something. he, he went, went up in there. He, he, hey, went up in there on ten. Mm. Yeah, I was feeling went up in there on ten. I would have shot that bitch. Hey, look, I don't know what's going on out there, but you need to tell him to go. Uh, hey, he was up in there. He called. Hey, he had to call the police and everything because it was about to go down. It was mm. one of those. That's a beast. You got, hey, you got to be careful out here, man. People For real. set boys up out here. Females ain't shit. I just say shit like it is. I shoot a bitch. I don't think I got a problem with shooting a bitch. Nigga, baby. I mean, would it matter? What? Now you said a baby? Nah, baby. baby. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> hey, look, that's the I'm like, man, that baby. But yeah, I, I mean, yeah, if it's a person doing you wrong, I mean, yeah, one, like, very, like. You ain't gotta kill her, but shit. Shoot her in the leg. Or Just the leg. Shoot her in the yeah. leg. I can do a leg. <laughs> I definitely, I'll do a spine. Oh, that ain't not We'll tear your ass around this motherfucking <laughs> nail, bitch. <here. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you about to get a rent built in that apartment you living in. <laughs> but yeah, man, that shit's crazy, man. People wild now. That's crazy. Don't you do. All you gotta do is be cool. You do wrong stuff, you ain't gonna bring that bad energy on you, like. What you mean? Like, if people nah, say something, you ain't got to do nothing bad to get in the best. I mean, 
you don't. But if you do it, you speed fast. it up. You de- like I done seen people jump people, and then they done came back with more people and jumped them. Like you brought that on yourself. No, you, 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 usually, you usually just let him walk. Hey, listen, I told you I done got jumped plenty of times. I, never, I told, I, I just took it, and I told you, man, me and my boy in the past then got stuck up, and we end up beating the bricks off of them dudes, and it's like y'all could just kept walking. We end up robbing them in the end, getting his arm broke, like. Day, well, like, we told them boys up. Oh, well, I ain't gonna lie, that was the day. Man, I wish a nigga would. I what? was ready to shoot the shit out. What? Boy. Nigga try to rob me. I ain't gonna Oh, no, you can shit. have it. You can have it. Nah, you don't have to. It depends it. on what you take. Bro, I, I ain't even gonna bro, lie. You can have it. It shouldn't bro. be like that. Let's be real. If I'm not Let's strapping, be real, your yeah, wife. I'm not strapped and you got a bro. pistol to me, yeah, you can have it. Bro, I'm not I'm not even finna flex. I don't, I'm not, I mean, I, I don't know, bro. If I, if I got, if, if it's like, if I got like, a fighting chance, then whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I'm with you. But if it, if you get the up on me, ah, oh, nah, we good. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I'm. But a, hey, I'm, I'm telling you, but, hey, you talk, you talk about back in the past. My jump, you talking about my jumping record is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you talking my about jump many, ratio? How many times you jump? Yeah, people? no, how many times I done got jumped? <laughs> I don't believe that, man. Bro, no, that's that's just how so did it stop when I met you? <laughs> because you didn't get jumped when you knew me no more. Bro, n- nah, bro, I wasn't hanging around with y'all. But you time. didn't get jumped no more after I knew you. That's what I'm saying. I had a couple fights where it was not in my favor. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. God, that. Hey, I'm talking about. Just know, bro, that shit ain't happening. You want me? Did me? Did, did, I'm not first it. nigga I see. No, I ain't worried about that. Well, I don't care. I'm just I do you feel like you can win from the bottom? If, if a nigga got you hey, mouthy? I, I, I do. I do. I truly do. I truly do. <laughs> nah, that was uh, what he said. They getting jumped. Feel like a slow motion movie. Stacey's <laughs> <laughs> a comedian today. No, it don't. So getting jumped, you, it, I feel like it's, it's actually sped up. Because, I mean, this is coming from professional. <laughs> I'm going to get me right with something. My limit is three, or at least it was. Like I told you before, I probably can't move like I did back in the day. But my limit used to be three. And when I'm fighting three niggas at once, I mean, bro, your eyes and your body just be moving, bro. <laughs> like, it's, it's, it ain't, it's probably slow motion you're getting stomped. If I, it probably feel like this forever. But when you up bumping, bro, it go quick. Yeah. It definitely go quick. Yeah. And because you know when you in a fight, it feel like it was three minutes and it was 30 seconds. Yeah, adrenaline. That's the truth. Fights be over quick, they bro. Be, be over in 15 30. seconds, somebody won and lost. Street fights definitely be over quick. No, street it, fights. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Street fights be over quick. They but do. you feel like you done fought for a minute. Bro, I, that's how I did last year. Did the little boxing thing, bro. 60 seconds. Boys was done at like 40. It was like, we still got time? Like, oh, really? 60 seconds ain't in yet? If I, if I wouldn't have hooped, I would have been straight. But we was over there hooping. You think so? Nah, yeah. I would have been straight. Be like that, man. That's funny, man. I, I had like a fucking that. photo shoot. Uh, that shit was crazy. Yeah. Photo oh, yeah. shoot? What you talking about? That last year when we had the guns down. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, it did. I mean, the, the virus shut this one down. I gotta postpone that to further notice. Boy, like a motherfucker. <laughs> like, boy, like I was ready to go. Like I'm, I, I got my cook <laughs> back. I had a couple boys. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm be out there. Boy, I uh, got saved out here. What? Damn. Huh? Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell what Corona. You know you the little brother, right? But I'm really bigger than you. <laughs> like, not like the little big you know brother. You know what's funny about what he be saying? He be saying he's bigger than me. He don't weigh more than me. He's <laughs> bro, shorter than but me. My muscles is Nothing bigger than Nothing about him, him is bigger than me. Like, it be funny that he say that, but it's n- nothing. Like, what? What are you talking about? I don't know what's wrong with you, man. He, he got that. He got that short. You got a big syndrome. brother syndrome, bro. No, it's, it's, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> you want to be my big brother, bro? No, I don't. I actually, just, I'm actually the younger person out of the group most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> That's uh, hey, we're gonna wrap this shit up tonight. We're gonna have it though, two hours tonight. But uh, it was a good episode. It was. You talk about how much bullshit again, and I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Hey, definitely hit that subscribe button, y'all. Keep commenting. Y'all talking now. I'm with that on the YouTube channel, In Your Face Podcast. 
If you watching, comment, cause y'all have been commenting. My boy Icon loves the comments. Keep it coming. And uh, hit that yeah, subscribe talk. button. I would share. rather y'all talk than hit the like button. And I'd rather y'all like it. And Kevin would rather y'all share it. Yeah. So, you know, help us out. Whoever your favorite My one favorite is, do what they like. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to wrap it up. Good night. Fuck y'all. Right on. Peace.